Like I feel stupid with this item. Played me, you betrayed me. We got cuteness over here, a lot of cuteness going on. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Fanta and I go by Wonderful on social media. If you've been here before, you know you are appreciated. And if it's your first time, you are appreciated too. So don't forget to subscribe, join the family per usual. We don't bite. I know, I know, I know, I know. I haven't been around for a moment. Your sis over here is not good with multitasking. It is not my middle name. It is not my last name or my first name. I am bad with multitasking. I've been trying to meet some little goals here and there. It's not easy to just put everything together. It's exhausting to achieve a lot of things at once. But listen, I am back. I am fresh. I am still feeling myself. The sun has been popping my color out, as you can see, and I'm loving it. It's been very hot though, but we're not gonna complain. I'm from the tropics, okay? We don't like the cold. But again, I am back, and this time with a haul. So stick around. As you can see in the title, I bought a lot, like a lot. Again, a lot from Shein, cause I wanted to try. And yes, I never tried Shein before. I came across the website a few years back. I was scared to buy anything because the sizing was kind of confusing. A lot of one size. I don't play with clothing sizing and stuff. And if you don't have free return shipping, I'm not even gonna try. And that is just facts. Lately, I've seen some reviews out there about Shein and most of them are pretty good. So I wanted to try it out uh, for myself. Let's say I have mixed feelings. You'll see why. So just to summarize a little bit what you're gonna see here, I bought a lot of bags, as you can see, a lot of earrings, a lot of clothes, including dresses, tops, and skirts. These were items that I was kind of missing in my wardrobe. It's summer, you want the legs out, you want the shoulder out. What? Even though I've been tanning like crazy. Look at the difference. I like the melanin though, but please be uniform. Anyways, it's about the clothes right here, not about me. <laughs> Let's focus again. I am just going to go with the biggest L, like L, like a big L, like I feel stupid with this item. I'm just gonna start with that. There are some good things, but I'm just gonna start with this. She in what played me, you betrayed me. I'm gonna show you first what I ordered. You see what it says on this. It looks cute. Like I said, my name is Fanta. Yes, it's a real name in my country. Like, okay, maybe they have a contract with Coca-Cola and stuff. This is fun, this is me. Guys, guess what I got? How is this Fanta? Literally, it says China, and I don't even know what the other symbols mean. Maybe it says China too, or maybe it's Fanta in Chinese. I have no idea. You just don't play with people's feelings like this. What would you do that? This is how upset I am for this. Like, how can you play me like this? I'm a sweet person, Shane. But why? Why do? But I'm mad. I am very mad, y'all. What am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? Like, listen, Shane, I forgive you the moment I saw the rest of the item. So I'm gonna show you real quick the accessories. So let's speed it up. We got cuteness over here, a lot of cuteness going on. A cute bag, just cute. I love it, the material is nice. Uh, some faux leather, but it looks like something that's gonna last. I recommend it, um, very cute, very different. Looks like a gift bag and I'm loving it. Can't wait to style this. This bag, it reminds me of uh, this brand that I keep seeing on Instagram. It looks like a dupe of that or whoever the originator is, but this is very cute, not expensive at all. Same material as the last one, you should cup it. I recommend this. It's very cute, can't wait to style it. The next bag is this purplish kind of pouch bag and I love it. Um, looks like the grandma bags but with pearls this time. Also cup this one, it reminded me of back home with the shell that we call Cory in my country. They're very symbolic in my culture and I love the vibe. It's very summer, very tropic. I needed some yellow in my wardrobe so I cup this back again with the animal skin vibe. As you can see with pearls again. I'm loving this, can I wait to style it as well? The material is not bad. Uh, again, I'm a little concerned about 
the zipper, but you'll know that I'm always concerned about zippers. This one is a little um, purse, see through purse. I'm not sure if I'm keeping this because I feel like it looks a little childish. Last but not least, I got this. And this just bomb. And the thing about Shein that I've noticed, I feel like they kind of copy big brands because right after placing my order, my FBI agent must have told Instagram I saw the ad for this bag and it was more expensive. So obviously it might be the originator of this style. But I actually saw this on Shalom's black uh, shit in a hole and I had to have it. And she did not lie at all. It's pretty sturdy. I'm actually surprised of the quality. Pretty hard there. It does have an extra strap as well. The strap, I don't really like the color because it seems a little yellowish, but I'm loving this. This is so different. Like I said, I also have some earrings, but we're gonna speed through them because it's a lot of them. I'm gonna show you a B-roll right now. I got a lot of gold in here, colors, textures, you name it. You have everything too. I'm keeping all of them actually, because I'm greedy like that, but they were so cheap. Of course, I don't think the quality is something that was gonna last, but the designs are so pretty. So yes, I'm keeping them, all of them. Don't judge me. They're cute, period. Until I'm a millionaire and I can just walk around Louis Vuitton, okay, and have them design my own, I'm keeping all of these $2, $4 earrings. Bye now. I'm gonna start by saying that the sizing was kind of tough, okay? I had to go a size up for certain items. I think they can do better when it comes to size or at least try to read the sizing chart, which I actually don't like doing, so that's my bad. As you may have noticed, white has been very trendy. I'm a colorful person, I must say, but there are some very cute design out there. So I got myself a little top in that spirit and I love it with the puff sleeves as you can see. I took my size, it fits perfectly on me. I'm definitely keeping this. I'm thinking of pairing it with uh, either some jeans or a skirt and some little heels. The next up is actually the dress version of the top. I love it, fits perfectly. It's like hugging my chest. Cannot wait to wear this out and take a nice picture with it. And some little heels, of course, and a cute bag. Again, another white dress, I know, but I couldn't decide. I actually took both and wanted to decide which one I was gonna keep. But I wore it, my boyfriend was like, I will keep both of them, they're both cute. So, what do you think? Should I keep both of them? Fit is different. I wanna size up for this one because my size was actually very tight. I ordered two of them so that I can return the rest because if we return, yes, Shane. And I'm thinking of keeping this. This is very unique, very wedding-like. I'm not getting married. Will not wear this for my friend's wedding neither because I'm not that friend. But if we have an all-white picnic or something, I'm showing out. I am not planning on playing around. I'm scared like the little thing is, <laughs> how do you call this? I just don't want it to be all over my skin, basically. So we shall see, but I'm keeping it, I think. To stay in the white spirit, but transitioning into the colors, I got myself this little top over here. Uh, this one also I got in my own size. It's very cute with some cherry prints. I like them. Um, the top, I feel doesn't, top part doesn't feel, doesn't fit perfectly, but it's okay, I like it. Uh, I can see myself wearing it with some uh, pants or skirt as well just like the first one they're kind of in the same spirit just not the same fabric talking about fabric it's not the best fabric okay to be truthful uh you get what you paid for basically and this fabric is not the best but for a one-time wear why not it's not that expensive um i still find it cute so i will wear this see this is what i hate about certain clothes they don't behave they don't be behaving and they be testing the cancer in me but it's okay though anywho the next one over here i have an idea in mind of how i want to wear it i'm still looking for the perfect uh shorts full leather 
short but i don't want it too short i want those long line ones i don't know if you've seen them i'm gonna try to find a picture and put it up but i cannot find my size so if you know where i can find some plus sizes please let me know but let's get into the shirt the shirt itself has a graphic all over it's a women women everywhere women you can see a plus size one laying over here the print seems very encouraging but something i will do though um i'm gonna make sure to read them because i don't want to wear anything that's against my principles so i will take time to actually read that but i love the cartoon feel on this it's boxy i took a size up in this because i want it to feel a little flowy i want it to feel a little large i don't like things to be too tight and especially for the style that i was looking for basically so check my instagram whenever i get this look up I will post a picture for sure. Hopefully I find the pants that I'm looking for. The rude one over here is a bandana top and I love it. Reminding me of like Alia vibe and stuff, you know, RIP. But of course, if you know me, you know I do not wear things like this easily. I'm gonna need something to put on top or I have an idea to wear with like a white shirt dress or something. I like it. The material is okay. It feels like a cheap scarf material, basically, but it's a nice one. It, it's not itchy or anything, which is important to me. And I love this style. Another top that I got, very cute, red and white. I like it. I wouldn't wear it like this. I will wear something on top or put it on top of a uh, shirt dress, again, like the bandana top. Next up, I'm pretty sure you've seen it online or on some people because it was in last year a lot. And I saw it on Shein, I was like, you know what? I wanted to get it last year. I didn't get it, so it's cheap right now. Let me just try it on. I just wanted to see how it looks on me. I like it, but to tell you the truth, the material is very, very cheap, very bad. Um, I believe there's a part that actually started ripping, as you can see. I know other websites sell it, the quality might be better, so I do not really recommend this um, because of the material, but if you really, really want it, you can go ahead and have it, okay? And the next one is this dress, beautiful dress, okay? Folded dress, you know it's very in to have all these folds all over, and I love it, it just goes with my body rolls, I enjoy them. The prints, however, I think can be better but at the same time it's kind of like a vintage print so i think it's okay the material is also fine for me really it's all about the fabric not being itchy because sometimes that's annoying uh, i'm not going to talk about other brands here because i'm just talking about shein but i've ordered from other brands that are actually more expensive than shein and they'd be itchy i don't know if it's my skin that's sensitive but why are you itchy though why i can see myself wearing this on a little date either with the boyfriend, or with the girls, picnic vibes, all types of vibes, brunch, you name it. Next one is also in the same spirit. It's kind of a mixture between the first white articles that I showed you and the last one I just showed. Um, it's with the folds, again. The only thing that I don't like, however, it feels like it is made for people with a belly like me, like there's a whole pouch section. I don't like that. Why are you accentuating, amplifying my pouch? I didn't ask you for that, you know? But it's very cute, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> I am keeping it, period. Don't judge me. Uh, I'm allowed to criticize and like it at the same time. You should cop it if you like. The next dress is pretty simple. I just needed a dress for a shopping day with the girls or just a chill day. It is very feminine and very cute. I'm not the biggest fan of the print though, but it'll do, okay, it'll do. So, the next one, talking about itchy fabric. This one is kind of itchy, okay? I'm missing some long dresses and I needed a long dress. It's very cute. I can see myself wearing this at a wedding so that you don't outshine the bride because listen, we cute and we believe in it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am thinking of keeping it but that whole itchy situation it's not too bad but you can feel it the fabric is kind of hard basically as you can see it is sheer i don't know i, I just don't know 
but I could really see myself wearing this at a wedding or a brunch or something a little more formal. I just needed something different from the short dresses. So I like the design, but the fabric is just drawing me off. A little caliente, guys. A little caliente we're going. This next dress is so cute. The fabric makes me think of a little lingerie robe. I like it. I really do enjoy this. Uh, the color is nice, complements well my skin tone. Cannot wait to wear this too. The fabric is not too bad neither. So yeah, I'll give it a, a 9.5, let's say. Next up is another green dress that I absolutely love. I've seen it on a lot of affordable websites though, for some reason. I guess they all copy someone out there, I'm not sure who, but I saw it, I believe, on Pretty Little Things or Nasty Girl. And I think it's very cute. This one, I took it in my size and it fits well. I love it. You can see the little details with the puff sleeves over here. It's very cute. I'll keep this. So next is this blue dress. I know, nothing special about it. Uh, puff sleeves, a little boxy design. I just, again, wanted some simple dresses as well just to wear on a chill shopping day or something like that. It reminds me of the school uniform in my country. I used to wear this to go to school. It comes in different colors. I took this in my size. It's already flowy enough, so it fits. This next one, I don't think I am going to keep, uh, but I still, I'm still going to show you guys what I got. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the of the print it's sheer you still have to wear something under the fabric i already know you wear this outside you're gonna sweat thing and this is not a fabric that feels right when it's hot outside basically so the prints are not attracting me and the fabric is not neither next up i actually have two skirts this is the first one right here. It's basically a long skirt, nothing special. The usual type of skirt. I like it, it fits well. I took it, I believe, in my size. So pulling it up is a little hard, but once it's up, it's nice. I don't mind it. I'll keep it because I don't have a lot of skirts right now. The next skirt is this one, little pink skirt with uh, the pleated design and the pearls again i think i'm having too much fun with all the pearls i need to slow down but i could wear this with the white top from the beginning it feels a little tight i took this a size up and it's like just just depends how you want it to feel take a size up so my last items are actually the black items so i'm just gonna do all of them together i got this shirt i feel like this shirt is kind of like a mixture of culture right here I was seeing myself, you know, in Cuban vibes or South America's vibe. Those um, those movies with the guys wearing shirts like this. Usually they wear different prints, but these prints make me think of the Asian culture. So I'm not sure where the combination coming from, but I thought it was unique. I do have an idea of how to wear this just like the other boxy shirt. I took this two size up actually because I want it very large. I know you may not have the image in head right now how I could rock this, but I have, a, I have something in mind. I trust my ideas. We shall see when it comes true. Again, follow me on Instagram. Hint, hint. The next one is this organza style top. Again, this fabric is not the best. Um, I was surprised of actually the solid fabric. I feel like, you know, you it could be better. It really could have been better. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this, if I'm going to keep it or not. But I was really looking for something uh, unique. And I'm going to try it on and see how it looks and decide then. But overall, it feels nice. It's okay. I mean... I'm not over the top about it. I'm not very excited about the material and stuff, but it's nice. I took it on my side. You'll think I'm going to the funeral, but I'm not. Okay, I'm not. I just really wanted a dress like this for the longest period. Every time on ASOS, the size would just go out of stock or it would be $200. I'm not about to buy a $200 dress, okay? Apple over here with the iPhones are ripping our money off. ASOS is not about to rip me off with a simple dress. We're not about to do that. I'm not rich. 
yet for whenever I go out and it's a little more formal this is nice or whenever you know I have my parents around and we're going to see family members and stuff the perfect dress just that the material is actually not too bad neither for the for sheer um, I'm not complaining it's pretty soft last but not least is this piece right here I feel like this is uh, a dress that you could have found on House of CB or I don't know those expensive um, websites look at the details right here look at the details I'm loving this I feel like it's very art oriented it also hugs my figure and I love that I guess that's the last item that was a long haul a lot of items I was trying to speak very fast I'm sorry if I'm not articulating but if you have any questions comment down below DM me on Instagram but I try to be as honest as possible uh, about how I feel about each item and Shein in general and one last thing though a lot of people have talked about shipping when it comes to Shein yes uh, it's not the best okay I'm used to fast shipping with certain companies I think they can do better I made two different orders and each time some items will come within the week and then the remaining will just come way off but the good thing is they do give you an estimate of when you're gonna receive your item and they will respect that time unless your local postal office is not doing their job but beside that my experience wasn't that bad there are some articles really you get what you paid for you can't really complain if you want the best quality you know where to go if you have the means to some of them are actually part of the premium line you can see the difference in pricing and the quality and again thank you guys for sticking with me you are real ogs you are the best and i love you guys don't forget to follow me on all my socials connect with me stay blessed and as always, be your own music.